Hello and welcome to another episode of the Call of Duty show. Oh, it's insider news, actually. What, what? Since when? Pretty much since always. Oh, all right. And well, what's on it this week, then? Well, actually, it's on Call of Duty Black Ops. Ha! Uh, yeah, well, we're looking at the new Resurrection map pack that came out on Tuesday, which contains more zombies than that cabin in the woods I go to for my holidays, and sees you mulching your way through four classic remastered zombies maps from Call of Duty World at War, and one brand new level that's literally out of this world because it's on the moon. Yeah, so get ready to dispatch these walking corpses back to whence they came on Nakta Untoten, Verrukt, Shinanuma and Deraiza, plus the new zombie level simply called Moon. The good news is that if you already own the original World at War maps in Black Ops, courtesy of owning the hardened or prestige editions of the game, you can download the Resurrection add-on for the bargain price of for free. Or you can just buy it with money if you don't. I, I think Activision's cool with that. In search of zombie advice, we turn to Jimmy Zielinski, Treyarch's undead guru, to find out how the team came up with the concept for Moon. Was it by looking at the moon? Let's find out, shall we? The way that we came across the idea of Moon, um, it's a little bit twofold. We had uh, story elements that would allow us to go there, and then we have this kind of self-imposed directive to, to always kind of keep going up with the next map and making sure it's bigger and better. Um, having Shangri-La, you know, with its mine carts and slides and, you know, geysers that shoot you up into the air. Kind of the next step for us was just to keep you up in the air. Okay, put me down! Put me down! I mean, it's the moon and low gravity. You say that word in a room full of, like, scripters, programmers, animators, and, and everybody just goes, what? <laughs> like, really? And so we, we went with a uh, low gravity kind of environment. It was a challenge. It was something that everybody was really kind of, like, excited to do and yet at the same time like fearful of doing and so uh, to see that kind of come about and, and really have such a compelling gameplay aspect and as well as a visual and, and kind of emotional even reaction from from people playing it, it's, it's really pretty cool. Oh that's just warm. Not to give away too much but low gravity and, and what comes from lack of air or gravity there's there's a lot of those elements are in this map so you're gonna have a lot of kind of contextual experiences that you haven't had in Call of Duty before. Moon is the 10th zombie map ever created, which is a pretty impressive figure for a mode originally conceived as just a bonus easter egg for Call of Duty World at War. Jimmy's pretty pleased he got this big as well. It, it was that. It was There was like this kind of excitement over the fact that it was actually going to go on a disc, something that everybody was working so hard kind of under the covers doing and just trying to make a game mode that was just kind of outside the box and is actually, um, to use the word organic, it is something that everybody chips in ideas or thoughts or experiences or when they played this game they saw something that just struck their eye and that really helped shift it. Once it then did get out, we were obviously very proud of that. And then we saw the response from the community. That expanded what we had to pull from for our, our development. Because it used to be us inside, now we saw people with their ideas and thoughts and reactions to things and that absolutely shaped and steered you know, where it went, and that's actually something I'm very proud of. While shooting zombies in the face with a variety of high-powered weaponry makes up most of the zombies' experience, if you're willing to look for it, there's a whole other layer of story and secrets for you to uncover that the zombies team works just as hard on to bring to life. I would say that as much time and effort is put into kind of developing the story, developing how we reveal story elements, um, how we construct them into puzzles and ways of discovering them in the game um, as the gameplay. Um, there's just a lot that goes into it because it's not, for us it's, it's kind of, you know, we say gameplay and we say story or we say side quest. They're all really fairly intertwined for our kind of core unit of, of followers. It is about surviving zombies, it is about getting rounds and that's where the game is. But it is also about these story elements for them as well. And so, you know, we really kind of make sure that they are on par. More and more nowadays, they're not, a, they're not an afterthought. They're not a, if we can get them in there, they're really part of what we do. Thanks, Jimmy, for your undead insights. We know who we're going to call the next time we're caught in a major zombie outbreak. You can download the Call of Duty Black Ops Resurrection game add-on right now from the game marketplace for 1,200 Microsoft points. Yep, thanks for watching Inside Xbox, everyone. We're off to fortify our zombie apocalypse stronghold. That's a stationary cupboard, and no, we're not. Uh. Oh, in that case, you want some pens? Yeah, go on then.